Yo, so welcome back. Um, I know this isn't a PvP video, which I would have said that I would have uploaded, but I don't. I'm not interested in PvP much anymore. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys a glitch known as TMPK 5B, or better known as multi place, or like I don't know something that would look similar to this illegal thing here. Overall, you're just breaking the damn um, the limit for any item, and that's what I'm going to teach you all today. So, first I'm going to start with the requirements of this glitch. First off, you need an alt account. Alright, you need an alt account. That's pretty much it. And you have to have access of this alt account so you can bring it into a game, or either you get a friend to help you out. So... It's pretty simple. It doesn't take that much time. And to be honest with you, it took me like 10 minutes out of the first update that came out with Cruise being updated. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, get my all account and I'm going to set the crew up and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So now I'm in my crew. There is literally nothing in this crew besides the shit in the roof. And I am pretty much going to be doing this from scratch. So, step one, get a crew, obviously. Um, you have one right here. You have one right next to the trade port. You have one in each city. And you have one right next to the military base. I suggest doing the military base one if you want to do this glitch for, like, starters, pretty much. It's 45000 doesn't cost that much. So, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy to just get the access of that crew to do this. So... Yeah. Step two, bring your alt account <laughs> or a friend, um, which we've already done. So, yeah. Third, get whatever item that you want to, I guess, dupe. So, we can use the dance floor. We can use the donut vending machine. Pretty much every item here we're able to dupe. So, you want multiple teleporters? Be my guest. You can do that. Um, you want multiple royal thrones? I don't know why you'd want multiple royal thrones, but you can do that also. Um, but the main things I'd want, in my opinion, donut vending machines, energy drink vending machines, maybe teleporters, I don't, I don't know, and definitely vaults, because vaults will really help you getting some serious cash. But... I'm going to use turrets because I've got mass amount, and as you can see, I literally have 10 to my name. So, we're going to start it off. So, first, we're going to want to max it out. What I mean by max it out, I mean place the limit, which is 3. Like, as you can see, I'm not able to place any more. It's like you've reached the placement limit for this item, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. You can't go over 3, right? Well, as you saw earlier, I kind of did that. So you're probably asking how once again. So I'm going to get our alt account over here. You know, look at that guy. Woohoo. Literally doing this on my phone. This is like so terrible. And you want to pull out a gun and just start spraying one. Just start shooting it. And once it breaks, boom. You got 30 seconds once the item is broken. So as you can see from 7 out of 10 when we had the 3 there, to now 8 out of 10. So I'm able to place another one. And there we go. Once again, proof that you're not able to go beyond this. And we got 3, right? Yeah, well now we only gotta wait 30 seconds. And you'll see right here, this bad boy will reappear like that. And since I have multiple, it's gonna be... It's kinda, yeah, it's just gonna do one of these and it's gonna stay there like that. You're able to abuse this. You're able to place an infinite amount. This does not work with the safes, and for whatever reason, the soccer trees that were recently added with this new update, with, well, not update, with the new season, so, whatever is unbreakable, you can't really do it with that specific item. But you're able to do it with turrets, and it's really overpowered. Um... I'm gonna dupe as many as I possibly can, and I'll show you the power of this bad boy. See ya then. Alright, so, I'm back. Kinda got the setup going. 
we got seven turrets right here. Now, this itself is actually really easy, but it is kind of a limit with one other player doing this, sadly. Um, due to the fact of how the system works, 30 seconds replace time. So while you can go beyond it, it's not an infinite amount with one player. You'd have to have multiple different players and as well as a lot more turrets to be able to place like this entire room's worth of turrets. So, but even then, one clarification, you have a ton of turrets. It's going to drop your FPS a lot. So just with this, it's not doing anything to my computer. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's not like get a good computer, I guess I can say. Um, besides that, if I'm on a mobile device or something or a terrible like FPS wise computer or device overall, you will lag. So it's a problem for some people. That's just to clarify though. Um, we're going to test it out and then I'm going to explain some other f small details that you should be aware of just so you understand this glitch further. Um, I want to at least add like all the major like things about this glitch so you understand it well, if that makes sense. And I guess, yeah, we could just test it out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> all right. I'm going to bring my alt account over here to this little thing. I'm just going to let him stand on top of that. I'm going to go to our settings. We're going to do that. And he died in like less than a second. That is how overpowered this glitch is. Even just with seven turrets. And we can place them all throughout here. We can spam these bad boys all throughout this hallway here right near the entrances and it can make it almost impossible for people to actually raid your crew um so once again you just go in here you got do one of these and you just place down whatever maybe you want to like have no entrance for most people you do one of these they break into your crew they have no idea that there's this many turrets in there and they die less than a second it's very, very overpowered if you use it properly. Um, to add the last note to this, though, to clarify, you need to have at least two legally placed. So simply put, if I have just two of these here, that is when I'm able to add another one. The same happens when you've already, like, for an example, if I destroyed all those with my guns in game they're all waiting to respawn i'd only be able to place one until i break another one then i'd be able to place another one and the process repeats itself so you need to destroy however many you've had placed pretty much until there is only two remaining for you to be able to place at least one more so the maximum that you can have on turrets to place another one is two now simple tip on how to getting like multiple turrets under your name just send some money over to your alternative account. Just pass it on to your main account. Trade it over. And boom, you've got multiple. This glitch is very simple. Really overpowered. And to be honest with you, it can make a crew really difficult to get into. And actually get to their safes and rob them. So, there we are ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and today's glitch tutorial, and I'll see you later. But now without one last announcement. You want to learn glitches like these? Head on down to JTC, Jailbreak's technical community, aka the glitching community if you want to be really simple with it. You want to learn more glitches like these? That's your place to go. I know this may seem like an advertisement, but it's a genuine, like, serious comment. You can learn some serious glitches in that community. There are a lot of people finding glitches, and it's pretty much like 99% of where all glitches are found and posted out. So, all the YouTubers like VG and whatnot, 
all their glitches, all their explanations, like the crate grinding quote-unquote glitch. It's not a glitch, by the way. Don't know why people say it's a glitch, but <laughs> it is what it is. But if people say, oh, wow, yeah, I found that glitch from VG. Yeah, you can find the same stuff in this server with good explanations and with some guys that will be willing to test stuff with you. So if you want to find glitches, most likely everyone there is willing to help you test that specific item or thing that you want to test. So feel free to head on down to that server. And yeah. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.